I get asked by a lot of people um, why I have so many Azuzi Troopers and why I like Azuzi Troopers and, and uh, so I decided to make a video just to kind of give you an idea. I figured I'd take a drive uh, over here to where I keep all these troopers and kind of show you a few things. Uh, this trooper right here is a 1990 trooper. It was a 2.65 speed. Um, this thing had 235,000 miles on it, I think. When I pulled the motor out of it <coughs> and traded it to a guy for the 3.5 that I put in that 01 over there. So, you know, 230,000 miles, running great. Uh, this one right here. 1989 2.6 automatic same thing um, 225,416 miles and this thing ran until just a couple months ago whatever a thousand miles and running good uh, I pulled the motor out and put it in one that I had that was cleaner that thing over there I don't even know they all they all have 200 plus, you know. They all come in 200 plus. If I get one under 200, I'm stoked, you know, because they're uh, they're like new. Thing I see this a lot too is that the frame is mint, you know. It's perfect. Most of these are. Very rarely is one of these really rotted. Um, I know they do get rotted up north and stuff, but out here, you know, all this stuff is usable for years, you know, all of it, all the drive train parts. And this is the terrain, you know, that we've got to drive over out here. There, uh, you know, I'm sure there are a handful of cars out there that you can get that'll handle this job, but how many of them do you buy for 300 bucks? You know, my commute. Eight miles of this from my house to the paved road. Yeah, I can't reach it right now. It's past you where? It's back on my seat and I'm in the front seat. Okay, but here's here's the real point. This this is my point. If you're gonna live out here and beat the crap out of something, like I have to, I don't have a choice. Um, are you are you gonna do it with a new car? You know, you can't you can't buy new stuff every year. Not not with the kind of money I've got. So, um, you know, I get a hold of stuff like this. This thing is what we call road hard put away with. You know, hasn't been taken care of. Um, I don't know, all the important stuff there. I mean, it's rust rusted. I mean, to hell. Like the frame down here is gone. You know, holes in it. That kind of stuff. Uh, you know, missing a timing cover. Not a super big deal. Uh, ratchet strap holding the power steering pump on. You know, not original equipment, but. Like I said, a few leaks there that look like they've been plugged with solder or something. And then none of this is my work, but that's when you see what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, it's got exhaust problems. What do you say, Jake? What do you say, Jakey? All right.
I used to race Mazda RX-7s, and I know what a good motor and a shitty motor sounds like, and that's a strong motor. It's backfiring because it's got exhaust issues, but it's not making any noises, it's not knocking, it's not howling. Doesn't smoke or burn oil. It runs back and forth over here. Nobody cares. The dog can ride in it. The kids can ride in it. I can throw greasy parts in the back or firewood in the back or whatever. You know, God knows. Heather's not going to let me use the 01 to do this stuff. You know, I got to have something to do it. You drive around on this stuff right here all day. I mean, literally. What are you going to drive over this stuff? Your nitrogen front? 